Alright guys, welcome! Today, I wanna talk about Ice Magic and review it again after like maxing it to like 125 right now, so... Yeah, I kinda wanna talk about it cause last time we made a tier list about it and I wanna see maybe if my opinion changed or not and maybe we can give it an upgrade or a downgrade and you guys can let me know what you think, I guess. So, first of all, I don't... I don't know. Sunken Soar with Ice Magic is very mid, right? Because the freezing effects, or I mean frozen effect, doesn't actually, well, trigger all the time, right? Because this is 10 second cooldown, I believe, with uh, freezing. So, if we smack him real quick, right? He get frozen there. Oh god, I might die here. Oh god. Anyways, basically I can't freeze him again. For like a while until you give me like 10 seconds or something well i wouldn't say it's 10 seconds it doesn't feel like 10 seconds but you know there's like a cooldown see like i can't freeze him again i can't freeze him even though i'm like technically applying the effect see i can freeze him again like after five ish second if it's five second ish so i thought it was 10 but it feels like a five ish second um which is alright, I mean, I guess if you're occasionally freezing your opponent, right? The most easiest way to land a freeze would be like using Q, which is the rising tide for this magic. So I guess it technically could be good. If you're trying to stop your enemy from moving to set up for a combo, but like other than that, it, you can't really use this other move right now, like Tiger Rush. Like, nobody really uses it. Like, it's really hard to aim and it's not consistent in damage. So, I don't like it at least. So, anyways. But I think it could be pretty good since I looked at Trello before this. And apparently, I want to show you guys it real quick. I might turn on window screen. So the screen might look a little bit weird. But yeah, window capture. Yeah, you'll see it. Alright, well, we're here in Window Capture, and... Okay, let me hide something. Save. They don't see me yet. <laughs> Alright, uh, in Trello, we have Ice Magic, right? Here's all the status effects that, like, can combine well with Ice, right? We have Remove cro Croating status, which is kind of bad. Nobody uses it. And Freeze, that's 25% more, right? That's fine, right? That's great. Uh, fire deals less damage. Blah. But what I noticed is the, that's 40% more if the target's bleeding, right? Is that stand? So, um, and does more damage if they're frozen, which is like above where water is at. So, technically, bleeding gets more damage than frozen. So, that's kind of insane. And if you use the ice underwater, so. 50 is, I feel like 50% of the time you would be like fighting an ocean. So if you swim under the sea and do an explosion move, like under there, it could hit your opponent. Like if you get free increased range, which kind of sounds insane. And I'm like ignoring all these other effects because they don't really look crazy enough. Because like, yeah, I mean it's only the bleeding and frozen that stands out. Or like, yeah. But yeah, um, since I'm at window capture, I'm gonna go ahead and see the bleeding effects, honestly. Um, let's see, I might have to make a spell. Do I have a self-explosion? I think I do have a self-explosion spell, maybe? Okay, maybe not. I thought I had one, guys, but... Alright, let me make one. This one is a place explosion. My R button, by the way. But I think... I'm thinking of like size 60% right and two duration because um, if I'm using water in water it would get increased anyways but if it's if I'm not underwater it should be fine also because I feel like the range is big enough. but let's see actually because I do have I'll be probably using this armor set for most magic review I guess if I am doing them <laughs> So, uh, let me try it real quick. Okay, it's not crazy. 
but it's like good enough, I would say. Uh, if you're like doing melee combat, which is what Conjure usually do, I feel like. So, I have the Claw right now. It's level 60, by the way, so it's not upgraded. I have this. I'm thinking of using this to bleed our opponent here, so. Um, how do I set this up? So, technically, we come in and we freeze. Then we use the Beast Instinct to bleed them into self explosion, which did a burst combo of like almost a thousand, I think. Right, guys? Yeah, because he has 800 health, right? So, right, if I go in, where, 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 where's more opponents? Um, trying to find a higher level guy, that's level 50. But you guys see what I'm doing, I think. You guys, I think you guys see this, right? So, oh, well, he left, so, but. Basically, you can do this with anything that like has AoE, like Commander Kai Saber. Don't have that on this account right now, but should be fine. But yeah, I want to see how much the bleed actually gives. So I'm gonna test that with like single blast magics. Um, I think my Q. Let's test my Q. Okay, normal Q does 226 right now. And it wait, why does it bleed? Hey yo, why is he bleeding? <laughs> I don't know why he's bleeding, but that was interesting. Um maybe, maybe you guys can let me know. I don't know. He was bleeding back there, but that's weird. Anyways, let's test it out. So it's 226, right? I don't know, I might have forgot already. And then boost. Boosted is 40 damage basically. We get like 40 damage if they're bleeding, so it's more benefit if we have like more projectiles probably right the bleeding damage increase oh wait or did the trello say plus 40 no it's just 40 percent um okay i guess it's still pretty good but i don't think frozen do the same amount of boost so it does seem pretty good so far um yeah for like conjure combo right if you mix it in with the weapon because right now my claws is not imbued with uh, magic, right? Like, see? I can put like ice magic on it, but nah. we actually want the bleed. So, this could be pretty insane. So, I think um, ice. Hmm. Um, ice is probably still pretty good. Maybe not as a mage, right? Give me a second, guys. Let me drink water. I'm feeling a little bit dry. <sighs> but yeah, let me take it a little bit slow. <clears throat> but ice magic, it feels pretty good, right? Because right now I'm a little bit biased right now because I'm a conjurer. Um, what does it say? I'm a conjurer. I'm a conjurer right now, basically. So. It works out pretty well, but I think if you're a mage, right? If you're a mage, as ice user, like only using ice as damage, probably isn't gonna work out, right? So, if you're only using ice for your first magic before you get into full mage, uh, it's gonna be kind of rough, I would say, because you're gonna you can't rely on well, you could rely on bleed. Like, after you get your second magic, right? You could probably use glass magic, right? It will bleed them no matter what. Or, I think a better better option than glass, even though glass is like guaranteed, would be metal magic. Where's metal magic? Well, whatever that can bleed, but I think metal's been pretty good lately for me. So, metal, metal might be better, honestly, because... You could put an explosion on your enemy, like a, like what I did earlier to like explode myself, but like with metal magic. So you could combine this and also your ice magic to combine for better effects, which is kind of insane, I would say. Cause right, um, you're like using metal magic as a catalyst, like which is you know, the key to doing more damage with your first magic. Because your first magic is gonna have like, it's gonna require less magic skill to unlock like more like 
magic upgrades option, which is, you know, whenever you make magic, right? See, like, I need level 150 for aura, you know, magic level. And, like, your second magic will require, like, 80 more, I think, right? I'm not sure, but it definitely requires more, your second magic, so. I'm not exactly sure, but a full mage does sound pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, I think like at first, you're gonna have like trouble with doing damage before your second damage, right? Or, I mean, second magic. Or like, you you won't get that damage as fast as like, you know, conjure, because melee is super fast, like. How fast can I pull off this combo, honestly? I'm just like testing myself now. Like, uh, I mean, it's not crazy. I think the opponent could get away. But you can definitely get away with like... Let's see. If we dash in, right? Let's see. If we can find an opponent, dash in like this, right? And then we do explosive. Like, you might get away with that. My explosion is a little bit slow right now. I don't know how I feel about it. But it definitely feels better. Maybe I could like increase my explosion magic to a little bit higher so I can hit. Just in case they dodge, right? If I'm feeling uncomfortable, I could probably increase the range. So Yeah. Um Conjure might be pretty good, so um Hmm. And then for Warlock, oh man, Warlock. I don't know how I feel about Warlock guys, but Warlock with Ice probably could be pretty good if you have the Sailor Fist. Yeah, I mean you can instant freeze people, but you can't bleed them, which I feel like would be like right. Let's go back to Ice Magic because I want I want to see. You need like, but yeah, Full Mage probably like Meadow and Ice would be better, right? I'm like not exploring all the options right now, I'm just looking at the status effect and like what second magic or weapon? I don't know. There's too many options at this game. Guys, I need help. Help. There's too many options. Anyways, like I said, um, the bleeding is really good, so obviously it's definitely probably better than Frozen because or you can technically have both, but frozen like water and ice probably not worth it, right? Like if you freeze them for a little bit, I mean it's nice, but mm. it's like you don't get as much as if you just bleed them and you ice them afterward, right? I feel like so. And then there's also the lost spell pulsar magic, right? You can somehow land a projectile if you're a conjurer. You could probably bleed them a lot easier. But I don't know about Warlock, right? Warlock, you can freeze. And I know Iron Leg can bleed, right? So that might be good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Warlock will maybe struggle a little bit more. So. I mean. Yeah, so. Full Mage and Conjure might have an easier time. But it looks pretty solid so far. I want to leave Ice at A so far. Like, it doesn't seem that bad. Like, I like it so far, right? With the build I have right now. I haven't used it much. Like, this build in general. I had, like, a different set before. I just moved it to set. Just to show you guys. Which I think we could maybe kill the king or try to kill the king, right? With this build. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys there. Man, I'm trying to buy some pumpkins. I'm having issue. Like, I'm trying to buy all of them, but there's no pop up, so I'm confused. Like, what is going on here? I can add. And pumpkin is just arrow. <laughs> this game, I swear to god, I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna beat them up, man. I swear to god. Bro, let me just let me just let me buy them, man. Man, I just want to spend money on this shop, and it's like, no, you can't spend it ever, ever. And I don't know what's going on. Usually, there's a menu to like buy it, right? So, if I go Apple, I can buy it, and like I can buy everything. Banana, I can do the same. 
You know, I, I, I don't know, guys. This game is weird sometimes. <laughs> uh, see you guys at the king. Anyways, I don't know if I'm going too fast, guys. I don't know. I have, like, a lot of thoughts together. Now it's, like, getting mixed up a little bit, I feel like. Also, the scream is a little bit weird. Because <laughs> I'm in window capture mode. So I'm, like, capturing a section of my screen, so... Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Um, it'll be a little bit odd, like, because it's a little bit off-center, right? Um, actually, maybe I could fix it. Uh, let me try. Well, um, I stretched it a little bit, guys. Now it probably looks a little bit better, but it's not perfect, so... Um, I, I feel like my gear could be better right now, but I don't have time. Well, I do have time to... Yeah, it's all out. Well, we can just fight, right? But anyways, I think I showed you guys my build earlier. I'm not sure. We can, we can block it. Or not, we can take it into the face. Well, you saw my build for like split second, guys. <laughs> Ain't much for Sonic's work. Anyways, it's a little bit laggy too, so we might struggle here. Where did he go? He might one shot here, because I don't see him. Or, yeah. That was crazy. Um, I'm, did I lose my shield? I, lose, I lost my shield. I couldn't see him, guys. I was just blind. See, I'm trying to bleed him right now. So we can do our ice. But... Of course, melee for this boss is not exactly fast, so... Oh god. We might, I might die here because I'm screwing up my combos and stuff. Right? Um... But yeah, King is not exactly the best if we want to do conjure build stuff. It's very, uh, you know? Like, I have to use the claw. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. Oh my god. I forgot he does a double, like, attack back then. Alright, alright. See, if we had out the shield, if I saw him earlier, I would have lived. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I could have played it a little bit better, guys, but I couldn't see him when he did his one shot. So I think we can give it another try. Oh, uh, give it another chance. But yeah, I am pretty tired today, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm waking this when I'm tired. Hey, like it's either that. Oh no, he did the barrage ready. He's gonna dash in, do another explosion. Yep, we block those. We good. All right. What? Okay, he got- he blocked it down, that's unlucky. But yeah, oh my god. Okay, he's using his, uh, one-shot move now. And we block. Yep. Having shield is so nice. Yeah, the claw is very sus sometimes, guys. I don't know. Like, it, it, if it hits anything, it will- oh my god, that did so much. Blast cannon build, am I right? <laughs> Which is the build I'm using right now. Alright, I think I'm just not good at this game. Anyways. Oh my god. Holy shit, is he gonna come in? I missed. Oh, he's transforming. Now he's gonna kill me, right? Not sure what he's doing. He did a beam attack back there. That was weird. He, was almost, he almost never do it. Oh, no. Is he flying in? No, he's not flying in. I'm scared right now, guys. Like, I wanna use my... Um... He's flying in. He's gonna do another explosion? Yep. Does two explosion back there. We have to block him. Oh my god. He's flying in. No? I thought he was flying back there. I guess not. We're dead here. Oh, yeah. He did that instantly too. Even if we blocked it, we would have died. But yeah, that was kind of scuff. But eh, I think you guys get the concept. But, um. Yeah, that was kind of scuff, trying to fight the king there. I could definitely do it if I, like, not get hit as much, but... They, he just does a lot of damage. 
Mm. But yeah, I think Ice definitely stays on the A tier, I feel like. Because that 40% boost in damage, it has potential. Or at least a A minus, right? Um, so, um, I'm feeling a little bit A minus right now, guys. Um, I move it down. Like, I'll probably change everything, right? <laughs> Let me fix this. Anyways, it looks a little bit scuffed right now, but probably like a A or A minus for ice. Because, um, I mean, it's not consistent enough for like the damage, right? For Conjure right now, I had to get up close. Maybe if I'm a full mage, I would do better as a king against the king, but Conjure ice would be like a, but like, it's probably better for PvP, honestly. <laughs> but yeah. That's that, guys. Um, I literally barely used Sunken Sword for that boss. Or maybe if I have a better weapon, I would have won. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. Anyways, guys. Uh, let me know if you have anything to say in chat. Uh, maybe you guys use a different build or like something. And yeah. You know, enlighten me, basically. Uh, yeah.